With many more of us required to take our musical production work with us on the go, we thought it was about time we had a look at the top best laptops for music production in 2021. For some, the specs on computer products can read like gibberish, and there is a lot of misinformation out there which can confuse things further. In this technological age, music production is increasingly becoming an accessible option for many of us musically inclined folk. With many competent and competitive DAWs available for home studio setups. For the most part our home studio setups require a Mac or PC, however, we are seeing a range of notebook and laptop style products from other competitors which are providing a much more compact, portable production solution. So for your convenience, we have looked at some of the products for this job and make a whole list for it so you won't have to face a slow rendering or low RAM again. Number 1. Apple 13 MacBook Pro. The first one on the list is the MacBook Pro. This modest model was first released back in 2015 and makes for a thin and compact 13-inch option which is sufficiently lightweight and ticks all the portability boxes. Featuring a 7th generation 2.3 GHz dual-core Intel i5 processor along with an SSD the MacBook Pro will be able to quickly load and handle multiple software suites. Now this one only comes with 8 gigs of RAM, which isn't spectacular but it can be upgraded to 16. We have included this in our list due to public interest and we feel despite the RAM being on the lighter side it still makes for a good option for those who are just wanting to digitally pan down a new idea before it disappears into the ether. It is also a great option for those who have a studio set up and just want to be able to access shared projects, check in on collaborations or edit away from the office, because it features the Apple fastest M1 chip. It has an impressive 10 hours of battery life which again is a bonus for on-the-go workload management. If you aren't a sample-heavy producer and you don't plan to run any orchestral-level workloads this has the minimum required specs for the majority of popular digital audio workstations. We like the response from the Butterfly Spring keyboard it works okay as a virtual keyboard if you don't have a remote control or MIDI keyboard etc. Number 2. Dell XPS 13. A competitive called Dell is offering the XPS 13 model. It has an up-to-date 10th Gen Core i7 processor to deal with busy workloads, 16 GB RAM to load the intensive applications. Plus it has 1 TB SSD to save that heavy load projects in fastest way possible. Infinity Edge Display, enabling a 13 3-inch screen in an 11-inch form factor with an 80.7% screen to body ratio is quite beautiful to watch. By maximizing the color spectrum with 100% RGB color and impressive contrast ratio, Every shadow takes shape and even bright scenes gain definition. The XPS 13 is cut from a single block of aluminum. Seamless PC or smartphone integration through which you can access multiple devices without dividing your attention, connect your mobile or pairs your iOS or Android smartphone with your laptop quite easily and work at only one place. Number 3. Lenovo IdeaPad Y700 The original intentions for Lenovo IdeaPad are as a portable gaming device, but the high-spec processor in it makes it absolutely perfect for running process-hogging workstations. Boasting a whole terabyte of storage, it serves up impressive speeds for a non-SSD with its quad-core Intel i7 processor. What with it being aimed at gaming the graphics are awesome but pretty much overkill for musical use so we will skip over them in this review. It has 16 gigs of RAM will efficiently deal with your workloads. It has 17.3 inches LED lit full HD IPS display. Everything looks sharp and beautiful on the anti-glare 1920x1080 resolution. It is not as compact as some of its competitors but is as a robust, beast of a piece of equipment. Of course, the extra power needs extra juice, so the battery life on this one doesn't come close to its rivals at around 4-5 to five hours use at a time. Number 4. Razer Blade Stealth. The Razer Blade Stealth is another quad-core model on the market which features an up-to-date 10th generation i7 Intel processor with impressive speeds. It is actually one of the fastest processing laptops we are examining in this video. The powerful NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 with Max-Q technology is no doubt the great option of best work output. It also has a hardy 16 gigs, which makes it far more suitable for a number of popular digital audio workspaces and better for a beatmaker who produces sample-heavy works. Plus it has 512 GB of SSD storage to save your projects with speed. It comes with 13.3 inches FAHD 1080p display. Customizable RGB lighting, includes 16.8 million colors available with multiple preset profiles. Plus it has Thunderbolt 3 in an ultra-thin, light, and durable CNC body with anodized aluminum frame. Number 5. Dell XPS Thin and Light. This model from the Dell XPS series makes for a superb touch display laptop. It would be well suited to audio production use as it is admirably fast. 
It has 7th generation Intel quad-core processor and a faster memory which together deliver unbelievable speeds. Plus NVIDIA GTX 1050 will boost the graphics to a new level. 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM is great for heavy type application and you will get a 1 TB SSD to store our all files at a great speed. It is on a slightly bigger side at 15.6 inches. Anything will look impressively great at a 4K Ultra HD display plus it's a touch screen which makes it easier to entreat with. It has two USB 3.0 slots as well as a Thunderbolt 3 multi-use port. This one is a much more versatile choice and will be more compatible with modern audio interfaces. It makes for an exemplary option that is more than capable of dealing with even the busiest workloads in your digital audio workstation. Its thin and beautiful design makes it a great laptop on the whole for a range of general uses. If you really like this video, then subscribing to the channel will lovely for us. Also don't forget to comment your opinion down below. Tell us in comments if we can help you by suggesting something. That was the video for today. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.